Yeah, so for us, the region where we uh, where we see COVID under under most control, so to speak, and and the, the lowest level of infections is certainly Australia, and and also uh, Australia, looking uh, from a European perspective, is certainly the lucky country these days. Uh, they have much higher temperatures. Uh, they have uh, they're now entering summer, um, and they have also come out of lockdown about five weeks ago. And in line with the lockdown restrictions being removed and essentially normal life returning, we've also seen a return to uh, categories which used to be in great demand prior to COVID, like for example, dresses and heels. So I think that is uh, um, telling a good story um, from what life could look like in the Americas and in Europe. And um, it's a positive preview for us in terms of a business, but also in terms of us personally, um, when we're hopefully coming out of this lockdown next year. Mm. And you talk about what this means for you personally. Has this pandemic changed any of your sort of long-term strategic goals? So we had a lot of plans in the drawer for the next couple of years. It's fair to say that we have accelerated the execution of many of these priorities this year simply because we had to. We had to go much quicker into categories we have not been in or we have we have just tipped, uh, dipped our toe in um, because these categories, as I said before, like toys, for example, they were very, very popular. Uh, I have three kids at home, they're very young, and obviously toys were a lifeline for, for us here at home, but also at GFG, given that they were in high demand. So we rolled out these categories much quicker. We have grown our marketplace, um, the marketplace side of a business much quicker, uh, triple digit. Certainly we haven't planned for that level of growth. And we had to innovate much more quicker, quick, quicker and essentially um, accelerate the business. So we are a lot further along in terms of many strategic priorities. We've also grown quicker this year. We will probably be at around 25% growth this year. Uh, when we uh, started the year, we, we were guiding for around 20% growth. And we are very bullish about the future, not because of COVID and the lockdowns, but because we've seen customers come to our platform at increased rates compared to last year. Um, and we see these customers buy more often than customers who came to the platform last year. And we obviously now have a, a better platform and a broader range of categories.